Hello everyone, we have completed all the UI and animations in the previous parts of this video series. And we have used Futured Delay to trigger every animation in one second delay after the page loads. Now in this video, we are going to incorporate a technique to listen to the scrolls and trigger the animations when they appear on the screen. In the meantime, we will optimize the website to rebuild only when it is needed using Flutter Block Package so that we can achieve smooth scrolling experience. Before getting into this video, we have spent hours on creating this, like optimizing the website, recording the video, and editing it in a way that you people will find it useful. So at least leave a like or a comment to appreciate our effort. Thank you. Okay, let's start editing the code now. First, let's include a scroll controller into our whole page widget. With this we will be able to listen to the scrolling events and get the number of pixels that we have scrolled. Okay, let me now create the scroll offset class which will be used as the state object. We need this copy with method so that we can input a new value to this scroll offset value variable. It will be used by the qubit that we are now going to create. To create a qubit, just extend qubit class and provide its type in the angular brackets. I will quickly import the flutter block package. Now, in the super method we have to pass the initial value of the scroll offset object. This change display offset will be the method, which we will be calling every time when a scroll position is changed, to update the scroll offset object with the new value. Now we will use the control.addListener to listen to the scroll events. And whenever a scroll is done, its pixel value will be updated using this change display offset method. Right, in order to use the scroll offset value in all the widgets, we need to add the block provider into the widget tree by wrapping it over my home page widget. Okay, now the only pending step is to add block builder widget into our sections. We will not remove the futured delayed from the first section, as the first section's animation is not triggered based on the scroll position. Instead, it will trigger after the page loads. Let me add our first block builder widget into the second section. Even here, we don't want the whole section to refresh, only the text reveal and the item cards should be refreshed, so we will add the builder widget specific to them. Right, the output is working as expected, but it is not optimized yet. Let me demonstrate and show you why. I will add a print statement here with the pixels value. So when we scroll further down the website, the text reveal widget is being refreshed even when it is not visible in the screen. You can see it is printed throughout the website, so it is being refreshed and rebuilt all the time. Which is not good, for sure. So in order to mitigate this, we will use build one parameter, which will restrict the refresh, when this widget is not visible in the screen.
Good. Now it is rebuild. Only when it is visible in the screen, we will follow this in other widgets as well. Okay, now let me add the block builder widget to all the widget, where animations has to be triggered based on the scroll position. That's all folks, hope you liked the video, have a good rest of the day.